Well, good afternoon, boys and girls. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Trap Lines and Inlines. Uh, we're out here working on the off-grid cabin in the bush build. Uh, this is a temporary living arrangement for me. Uh, low budget, uh, redneck kind of project I got going here. Show you how things are looking and what we're doing today. So this is what the cabin looks like here. Uh, it's 10 by 10 with a six foot overhanging loft and six foot of deck out the front and back. Uh, today's project, I'm gonna try and start um, filming shorter videos with more direct um, topics. Like one, like in this video here, we're gonna be putting the plywood in for the floor on the loft and that'll be the main target. If I get that done today, that'll be pretty good. I'm on an after school trip here. It's already five o'clock. Don't got a whole lot of time, but should be a short and sweet little video. I have, this is 5.8 standard plywood. It is not tongue and groove plywood. It probably should be. It's what I had. And uh, like I said, on a budget. Uh, everything is pretty temporary. Uh, I don't know for how long it will be temporary, but I'm on a budget. Okay, anyway. So this is gonna take me quite a while. Uh, I don't particularly enjoy laying plywood down to be honest with you uh, it's quite time-consuming uh, I'm just working with my little saw there and uh, I kind of cut and measure as I go type thing eh? I'm not uh, no professional carpenter by any means just like to build stuff anyway uh, what I'm gonna do is just start uh, laying them down lining them up with the studs and just measuring as I go type deal so anyway stick around should be pretty good. I'll put you on the head cam here. Uh, speed it up a little for the sake of time of the video. Hopefully you can get the gist of what I'm doing. And okay, so I'll just tack it in for the time being and you see I've cut this so that it lines up with the studs and then I'll cut a piece that fits exactly to here but you have to leave a 1 8 gap in between your plywood for the sake of heat expansion I don't have a whole bunch of these little screws these are just one and five eighths inch screws that's a fuck up so i'll just tack all these in for the time being and then go from there so now i'll come a measure across and see right here we're at 45 damn near right on but i should actually 44 and 7 8 but i should take that back an eighth to 44 and three quarters to get that perfect gap. So I better write that down here. Okay, so now, top in our little nails here. right up against and then we'll sandwich them together right there that's perfect so now that I got this first kind of sequence here complete the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna run them right to this here board you see how there's two here this whole board to the inside will be used for this sheet of plywood that goes here and that one for the, the next slice there, eh? So, how are we gonna do this? You never wanna, you never wanna put your, put your studs, um, put your joints where your plywoods connect uh, on the same stud on two different, you wanna overlap them. So instead of running the long one on this side, over here I'll run it from here and overlap it over here and that adds you so much structural integrity it's it's crazy eh but my all not all my studs are the same distance this one's shorter than the one at the end so I have to remeasure 
I want to go as long as I possibly can. As long as I possibly can to the closest stud. So these are eight foot sections. So I can take these and if I go right 93, or actually 92 and 7 eighths, 93 is right in the center of this stud. And then the width I already measured is uh, 31 and 3 eighths. And that'll be consistent on both slices. So then we're at 93 right to dead center and I need a measurement over here. So that's 127. So that is uh, 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 34 inches. And I'll be able to use up that slice there from this piece here. And it'll take me uh, three slices, three pieces of plywood to do this one frame here. Um, like I said, my joists don't line up, so it's kind of fucked, but it'll, I'll make her work anyway. And then uh, I'll still have some scrap pieces to use up there after the fact. So let's get to cutting. And I won't show you the cutting because I showed you once and no one wants to be bored by fucking repetitiveness. So stick around, it's getting exciting. Okay, so that's it and all, got her all tacked down now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to bolt the piss out of her. Uh, just absolutely uh, liberal as fuck with the inch and five eight screws there. I'll really pepper her down. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you how everything looks from there. Stick around. Okay, so here's how we're looking. I bolted her all down like I said I would. Uh, bolted the literal piss out of it as you probably see there everything's looking real good here uh, turn around a bit here 
Uh, and then I also, I also ended up putting three inch slices of plywood around the walls that would are around where my uh, stairs are gonna be. And the reason for that is I need, I need that five eighths there so it's all flush with the rest of it when I lay my walls across for the for the loft there, eh? So that's how it's gonna go. Uh, next episode there we'll start laying the walls for the loft along. Uh, probably about four foot high and then I'm gonna go with an aggressive pitch and see how she goes from there uh, no bears today anyway that's good and you know like all my cuts they lined up pretty darn good like everything went good I will say this though that little wherever it is it's in my truck now but that little saw of mine it's a pain in the ass to cut plywood straight. You really got to focus on it. Uh, it's not ideal by any means. And you know, like there's a couple little places where I could sand the corners a bit, get her a little more uh, deadly looking there, you know, uh, a little off here and there, but uh, definitely pretty damn good. I'll give you a little bit of a tour around the cabin here as she stands. I'll break my back first, get you around here. Fuck. So yeah, I still got it just on blocks like the front deck and whatnot, and it's not level. Uh, I'll have to get that sorted out here pretty quick. <laughs> you can see like it's a little, a little fucked there, but uh, that'll be no problem. There's hardly any weight. Uh, the cabin itself is nice and level. Well, relatively good enough. Uh, Turn around a bit more here. Uh, pretty soon I'll have to order these windows in. I need four or three, three for the three for the bottom, and then I was thinking about putting one right here because that's where I'm gonna sleep. One window right there, and then one in the back because I need that cross breeze to cool her down in the summer. Even though there's fuck all to see out the back, eh? So let me know about that. Should I put more on the sides of the walls on the top there or what? You see, the problem is the windows are expensive, like. If I'm to order five windows, I'm already spending more than I have on the entire build thus far. But anyway, yeah, I gotta drop that down a bit. It looks fucked, don't worry about it. I'll get around to it. But uh, yeah, that's all I got done today. Like I said, I didn't have very much time and I'm heading home a bit early here uh, because uh, I'm way behind in video editing. Like I still haven't started on episode three and this is episode five, I believe, so. Got to get to that. I'm way behind on my sleep. And uh, also, you know, I'm so goddamn behind in school. You could not believe it. And I'm nearly done here. So a couple more weeks. So I better bear down a little so the videos might not be quite as consistent from here on out. But anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Trap Lines and Inlines. Stick around for, or re-watch the series there. The whole entire cabin build is going to be up on the YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for tagging along. Till next time.